What's up, Pack Nation? It's Pack Gaming here, and tonight I'm doing a discussion video. I don't do these too often, but whenever I either don't have too much time or I have other things planned, like homework, I decided to do these quick little videos where I just sit down, talk, not a lot of editing, and talk about something that I'm like personally interested in. And there's actually something I want to talk about right now. A couple things, just reminding y'all that my 35,000 VC giveaway ends tonight. So if you want to win that, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and then tweet at me, done. Once you do that, I'll put you in a randomizer, and you get free VC. Now, I was going to make a video talking about Nintendo Switch and the roster update, but I realized I couldn't really talk about that without NBA 2K18 on the Switch. So I literally went and bought NBA 2K18 for the Switch, and then it was like three hours to download, and I'm not going to upload a video at like 12 o'clock. So I'm going to talk about this instead, and that is player creations in 2K. So the year before... And well, for the past like five years in 2K, it was the same player creation. It was okay enough. It was good enough to where you could kind of make people look similar to like like whoever you want. If you wanted to make like Will Smith or let's say you want to make Michael B. Jordan, who was already in the game anyways, but let's say you wanted to make that person. You can make someone that kind of looked like him, but every time you created a player, they almost all ended up looking the same. In my opinion, they kind of had a caveman face, all of them. And some of the people in the community agreed with that. And so we kind of complained saying, hey, they should probably change the creative player and so instead of doing that 2k literally looked at us and they were like okay we'll just remove it and they gave us like standard faces or scan your face and that was like the only options that were given to us it was actually kind of stupid in my opinion and one of the weirdest things they've ever done like creative players such an important thing to do in a video game like a basketball video game where you make a career you'd like to make your own player if you wanted to make someone dumb if you wanted to resemble someone like your favorite college player and, and putting them into the nba stuff like that like if you can't put reggie miller in the game why can't i make reggie miller and you might be thinking, well, they don't have the rights to those players. That might be true. However, the other game that 2K owns is the WWE 2K18. They create that game. And even though it's a different team, they do create that game. They also have a creative player. And their creative player is a million times better than 2K's. I was on Reddit and this guy called JBoogie1310 made all these NBA players in WWE 2K18 and made them look exactly like players from the NBA. And I'm actually pretty surprised that he did this in this game. This is Steph Curry. Now, I'm not saying this looks exactly like Steph Curry. Obviously, it needs work, just like a lot of them, the ones he made. But straight up, that, I mean, that looks like Steph Curry. Like, you can't tell me that doesn't look like Steph Curry. And he did that all by himself in the creator in the game. You cannot do that in 2K right now. Like, it's not even close. You couldn't even come close to make Curry. You had to just use a Curry in the game. If I wanted to make Shia LaBeouf, I can't. Because there's, there's standard faces in those faces. You can only make them look kind of like Shia LaBeouf. Here, you can straight up make them look like Shia LaBeouf, period. So I really do believe 2K needs to implement their creator studio from WWE and put it into 2K. I don't really see a big reason why they can't do this. Just take the features you have in one game, put them in another game. I mean, it, I think it's something that, that I've kind of waited for. I've always hated the creator studio. You never really could make anyone you specifically wanted to make. And now, it's even worse. So I feel like they should really do this for 2K19. It's kind of sad that we're already talking about 2K19 and it's probably like... We're probably in like the middle of the, the game's year, but I really believe this is like a step forward if they did this. I don't really see a negative towards it. I don't see why they wouldn't do it, but what I've learned in the past couple years is if you ask 2K to do something, they won't do it. So we'll see what happens. But what do you guys think? Do you think they should add this in? Leave it in the comments below. If you like my channel, please give my channel a sub, and I'll see you guys next time. Did you call a bank?